Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. Welcome to my channel everybody. So I am currently working once again on Paper Pumpkin Alternatives for February 2024's kit called Sweet springtime beautiful little name for it because it is very sweet this is alternative video number eight it's gonna move the whiteboard oops things are in the wrong spot that should have been on top so this is a look at the flyer slash instruction sheet that came with the kit so you got three cards three treat boxes and three of the slimline cards and you turn it over, you got the QR code to do alternative projects, a visual, of course, of everything in the kit, and the coordinating colors. So that's all on that. This is a look at the stamp sets right off the bat. I'm going to tell you probably in every video, I'm not using Welcome Baby. It just does not suit my purposes or my needs at this time. Feel free to if you have baby cards you need to make. That's a great little sentiment. It's just something that I do not personally need. So what we are doing is, mm, excuse me. I'm going to be cutting this one up. I need to stop staying up so darn late. <laughs> so um, we, this is the slimline card that was meant to go this way. We are going to be cutting half of this and then taking a little extra off the end, trimming it down. We're going to do that together, but let's go over. Let me get, I don't have too many things in here, though I am missing an important part that was already done. And why is it like not, there it is. It's in there. Oh, I'm like, it was already done because I didn't use it for the last card and I was using it for this one. So here we go. Card base six by six scored at three. It fits into a standard envelope. We are using a half of the card base from the kit green flowers, green with the flowers from the kit to be cut down to two and three quarters by five and three quarters. We're going to do that together. And then for the inside, we have a piece of white that is five, two and three quarters by five and three quarters. And then we have one wreath that we're going to be using the three chicks from the kit, which we are going to cut down to two and three eighths, because that's what this measures. <laughs> this way is two and three eighths by something. We'll get to that. Um, the double oval punch, already done because I didn't use it in the last project. We're going to use these on this project. 10 inches of white baker's twine and I already made my little double bow for this kit. We're going to use those embellishments and then what else we have? Oh, and we're going to be using some more white baker's twine as um, a little wrapping on the card. So hopefully this one comes out like it is pictured in my head. Very, very easy to do. So we need to cut this card base down and my guillotine does not have a five and three eighths inch mark. So I'm going to use my grid here, five and three quarters. So I need to take a half an inch off of this and I'm going to first cut it in half and then take a half an inch off. So it measures three and three quarters. We need to take this down to two and three quarters. So there's that piece. And then we're going to turn this one this way and take a half an inch off of it and hopefully then I will have what I want. I do. So that worked out nicely. Now we can keep this and this one. We're going to use one on the envelope, one on the inside. This we're saving for another project. This one should be fairly, I need the guillotine again. Huh? Let's just put that over to the side. So this one should be fairly easy but what I need to measure is see I'm gonna have to take some off the top and some off of there I wanted to leave the top but that's not gonna work because it cuts my chicks down and I don't want my chicky poos to be cut down so let's let's look at it uh, so this is going on there see I wanted them um, down at the bottom so I just need to take now I'm gonna have to change it let's see if this fits 
Oh, it's still going to fit. It's still going to fit. So let's work on this piece. So we have to cut this off. Yeah, I know. I was hoping to keep it, but no. That uh, boat has sailed. So that's off. Now I need it to be two and three quarters, which is right there. So it is two and three eighths by two and three quarters. So let's write that down in my instructions. Two and three quarters. Now we can proceed. Yes, we can. And now I'm trying to figure out, do I want my little bow just across the bottom here? Let's take a peek. I was going to have it. See, that's going there. This is going there. Hmm. <laughs> I wanted, I think I am going to do it in the center. So we are going to be putting some of this on here like so. Just that much. So let's see. How much more do we need? We're going to do four and a half. That's roughly that. And we're going to use a little bit of tear tape. So give me a couple little pieces of tear tape. If you guys are wondering, I'm going to show you. When I reach for it, do you see this? This is that big clip that's on there. That's what <laughs> I reach for all the time. Just in case you were wondering what I do, where it is I keep it. I used to keep it in the drawer, but it's much more available like so. So we're going to give it a little rub down. Remove our backings. And take our wee little bit of white baker's twine. Well, let's try sticking it on there first, maybe. We're going to be putting a glue dot over it, so it will stay where we want it in a minute. We got way extra, like, over an inch here. We're going to give us that little extra and dimensionals. I know I had some over here to my left under the envelope will work. So dimensionals are going on there to make sure that Baker's twine stays down. That's why we didn't use the scotch tape. One in the center, one up there, one in all four corners and of course in the center. And I'm going to take these off now, but I can't put them on yet until I get my piece. Well, I guess I could. That wouldn't really hurt it if I put it on now. All right. Oh, yeah. What? So we're going to leave this aside for the moment. Put that aside, that aside, this aside. We can't glue this down yet because we are going to put, you guys might think I'm crazy, but I really like the look of this on the side, like so. And then I'm going to put the other half on that side. So we, and we're going to add that little bit of berry burst. So we, do I want these on dimensionals as well? I might as well, right? So we're going to turn it over. I've got it where I want it. Let's see. Here is our centerpiece. This is going to have to come over. So this piece will have to go down first. Just trying to get it somewhat in the center. I don't go for perfection. That is overrated. <laughs> there we go. So now this, we could put it down below. Now I'm thinking I do want it down. So I wonder if I can pick that up again. 
because now I do want it in the background. Just me being me. Sometimes you, you don't know until you look at it and nope. All right. Leave those guys alone for now. And let's get these on our card. We're going to get the glue. Where did I put it? Oh, yes. I turned it upside down. So I know that I want these pops. This one here. So, and I figure it's going to be those three that are going to go down. So you can almost see it's going to come like right here. Like so. And then we're going to snip it off with some scissors. Using the edge to guide my scissors. So there's one bit. Now we're going to do the same. We could just do the daffodils and we have all that. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to save that other piece. So we're going to add our glue here. We're going to save that just like so. Ooh, cute, cute, cute. And our little chickadees are now going to go in the center-ish. So let me get it on the grid. I have there's one, two, there's one and two. Oh, that is my eyes did a good job. Now that's going down. Now this can go on our card base. I like did my yeah, it looks good. Okay, let's see. do we want to add like that little bit in that corner and a little, I think so. I think we're going to use up our wreath here. We're going to go ahead and glue some more on this card. So we're going to add that bit right there. I don't think these daisies have any glue on them. So we're going to have to add a little bit there to stick them down. My nail is in the way. All right, and these wonder if I just cut those off. Let's take a look. I'm wondering that's gonna go there. So is the Easter, our bow is going in the center and I'm wondering if I just do a little hint of that. I wanted it going this way is what I wanted it, but it doesn't look like it's gonna go there. Do I go? Or do I just, I'll just leave that. And we can fussy cut these little bits out because I am going to use all of it. So we're going to fussy cut our little daffodils out and then reapply them on the cart. And I've already started, so I can't stop now, right? A little bit of surgery. And yes, I used an entire wreath on one card. I don't normally do, would do that. I would usually save it and, you know, me cutting up things, doing a little surgery to make it go farther. But this one, I just like the little, the look of it in the background. It looks kind of cool and it's different. And that is definitely what I like. Being a little different. So this now is going to go right here where that one over that one and this one 
it's going to do the same there. And I really like that. And let's see what I can come up with for this. If maybe, hmm, there's not much there to work with, is there? There's not much, but I could add it. I don't think I need to add it, but I'm trying, but I can't. So that's just going to be in. We're putting it right in the recycle bin. All right. So now we know what we're doing. Let's get this glued down. Yes, I cut it all up. And I'm really glad I did because I think it's darling cute. It's sweet. That's the word I need to be using with this kit. Sweet. And look at that pop of that. That's why it was important for us to use those bits on the card. That berry burst. I feel like this doesn't have any glue there. There is some, but I don't feel like it's enough. Just the way it was sliding. Now it won't slide no more, so it's down. This piece... right here and yes I want this to come to the edge of the card this is just getting glued down no more dimensions on it I don't want it too thick and this one is just gonna go right here And this one, I wonder if I need to put that on. I think I can. I need a glue dot. Ha, oh, that's what I need. Glue dots. Where are they? I'm not using that sheet. I had another sheet that was going. Oh, maybe... I guess I am using that sheet because I can't find my sheet. I started. Nope, there it is. Why does the other one is in the front? I have no idea. I have no idea. So we want this to go here. I know it's going to have a bit of a bump with the baker's twine, but I don't care. I don't want it on dimensionals. Then we're going to put a little bit more of one. If I can get it off of backing. Yes. A little bit more right there. And of course, we're going to be using. Oops, let's try that again. That's for that. And I'm going to take little bits of tear tape. For my bow to it here, I'm going to put it crossways. So there's a little up there and a little on each side of the baker's twine. And there's my wee little bow, which this one needs to be trimmed down a little bit more. Oh, sweet, 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 sweet. Okay, we need the Wink Costello. We still have to do the inside of the card, but we need to Wink Costello everything on the wreath. Not the background, just the wreath flowers. And of course, our little chickadees. And we have these great little, I don't know what you want to call them, matte dots. I don't know. But these sure are sweet. Now, this time, we're only going to use little ones. Maybe if I can get it. That's one way to get it off. 
So we're going to stick one there. I might put five of these on here. Two. Three. And four. And five. Do, do, do. That's cute. All right. Inside piece. This is where we get to do stamping, our envelope, and of course my stamp in Pierce mat. So what am I going to stamp in? Very burst. And once again, guys, I had to, me and my compulsiveness sometimes. Oh no. I stuck it. I'm like, it's with the other stamps. All right. Here we go. We have... Springtime greetings. If you put too much in the inside of this, you're not going to have anywhere to write. Because it's not a very big card. And our little chickadee. Mm, I don't think so. And then for the envelope, we're going to do, it looks like spring. Right here. And then Happy Easter on the back. Too bad the set just didn't have a little flower of some kind. Because that would have really been great. So let's put this together. The inside bit. And I am using a standard envelope you can get at any local place. That's why the card is six by six scored at three. Oh, we have that little bit we could add to the side. And we had the strip we could have added to the envelope. But let's go ahead and pop that down. It's the same size as the white. So let's go ahead and use it. So we do have a little pop color on the inside. There we go. Springtime greetings. Happy Easter. Really sweet, simple. Fits in the standard envelope. And that's all she wrote, guys. That's it. Just something a little different to do, which that is why I do this. I, I have such a great time just trying to think outside of the normal parameters. And I think it is a little sweet. So thanks for watching, everybody. And I hope that you come and visit me again in my wonderland. Bye for now.